Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have, what are their true intentions in love? Yes, we do. And we're always trying to get to the bottom of it, right? Hope you guys are all well. And so today we're doing it a little bit different, of course, right? I'm on camera. Uh, I took a shower and combed my hair for you guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> and so we have the cards here already, right? This is just how we're choosing to do it today. I hope you guys are all well. Don't live or die by these readings. All right. Yeah, please don't do that. And, uh, but we have a beautiful reading. I feel like we do, right? And so for the first, uh, for your cards, I have set down, uh, this is the true love uh, deck. This is what I call it. It's not really called that, but uh, it's something close. And we have another deck at the bottom, right? Uh, and your person here is the king of hearts. And this is the king of cups but it, they don't have to be a water sign no they don't this is somebody who basically who loves somebody especially in this reading right yeah i feel like it is so we have over here you guys we have uh, at the bottom of the deck from this deck right yeah we all we have all these decks yes we do because uh because we do we have the three of wands fulfillment this is the this is what they call that in this deck right it's called the three of bows but these are the wands and you can see uh, the bows, which are supposed to be wands, same thing, uh, it is, and, uh, but they're calling this fulfillment, we have the nine of swords, wow, in this reading, it's called dedication, in this deck, so this is all at the bottom of the deck, somebody's really, uh, dedicated to, I believe, to fulfilling this with you, Sagittarius, yeah, that's how beautiful this is, not only are you there, uh, fulfilling wish you are. I feel like, uh, <laughs> I feel like, uh, they are not just dedicated to you, but they're dedicated to like bring this to fruition. And I've already looked at the cards and I have to say, of course, right. If I've already set them down, but I have to say that that's what this reading is saying. Also at the bottom of the deck is balance, right? This is temperance. They're showing the two snakes here and they're getting along well, right? They're not trying to like uh, are they snakes or lizards? I, I, you know, are they snakes, but they have a, yeah, they do, but they're, you know, they're on the same tree stump and they're getting along, right? This person wants balance with you and harmony. That's what they want. Uh, I feel like they want to heal this, right? Temperance is known. Uh, I feel like that's temperance. Maybe it's a uh, justice because they switch in the major arcana. They switch the, uh, they switch the cards a little bit. So, you know, they do, uh, and so the order, yeah, that's what I mean. They have the three of cups, Sagittarius, the three of vessels. And here's the storks, right? Get ready to, uh, there's three of them. They're not going to have, uh, I don't know which ones are going to kind of, you know, uh, pro, uh, what is it? Uh, conceive or, you know, uh, make a baby here, right? I can't think of the right word. But here, this is a celebration, right? It's usually three women. Here we have three storks, right? Uh, which usually bring the baby, but they're bringing these three cups and they're very happy. They're jumping around here kind of. And uh, this is a celebration or this is joy. That's what it is. And that's what this person wants with you, but they do want a celebration. They do because it's showing up. Uh, it's showing up in this reading. It is. Okay. We're going to talk about it in a minute. The, and next we have right here, Sagittarius is rebirth, the eight of vessels. So this is the eight of cups in this reading. Usually somebody's walking away kind of, right? The guy with the red jacket and he's like, he's unfulfilled. But this eight of vessels, which are the cups, they show the cups here and they're all over this waterfall. Yeah, they're all emptying into some type of a, either a cup or a waterfall. It's really beautiful, right? And so they want a rebirth with you, yeah. God, I wonder if they want to have another kid with you, Sagittarius, because we, th we see the storks, right? You could be saying, I'm, I'm past that, or that's not what I want, right? I know I don't want any uh, kids because uh, it's too, my time's over, right? <laughs> and that's okay by me, right? We have jealousy here at the bottom of, bottom of the deck. Somebody could be jealous. This is the three of swords, right? And here are the three arrows or swords into the heart, which is on fire. And it is a wooden heart, uh, you know, uh, nailed to the tree, right? Really, uh, kind of, uh, illustrative, right? And then we have the Knight of bows. He is the Fox. This is the Knight of wands. Uh, this is kind of a trip card. It is. And then we have frustration. I feel like we could go on and on with the bottom of the deck. We could, uh, and I feel like this is a person who 
want your person who wants to come forward. Now, these readings could be switched, right? You could be saying, uh, they could totally be switched, right? And uh, mm -hmm. let's set this over here. And so, yeah. And so let's continue with this reading. Uh, let's see here real quick. Uh, what the Knight of Bows is about. He is the Knight of Wands. He's the Fox, but uh, it's really deep. Every card is really deep here. And uh, we're just looking at one here in this book here though. Yeah. Uh, let's see the Knight of Bows, right? Mm -hmm. it, this is a very deep deck. It is. I think I was using it yesterday a little bit. Let's see what they say about the Knight of Bows. Even the book is complicated because it's kind of backwards. Moving house. Maybe they want to move in with you, right? Yeah, maybe they do. We also have uh, emigration. Maybe they're emigrating, right? And we have uh, leaving old ways behind. This is the night of fa the night of wands. Mm-hmm. This talks about somebody who's uh, kind of mixing wisdom and uh, not comedy, wisdom and playfulness, right? Maybe it's comedy, Sagittarius. We don't know, right? Maybe they're funny, right? Uh, I feel like it's, uh, for me, I don't have to be with somebody who's funny, but I can't be with somebody who doesn't have like, uh, humor, who doesn't, you know, you're sitting there, well, you're not laughing. I mean, not, not just at my jokes, right? <laughs> but just at funny things. I'm like, wow, you don't have any sense of humor. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Right. Leaving old ways behind changing directions. Yeah separation by distance maybe you're separated by distance as an aspect or a process quick wit or cleverness leaving old ways behind innovating creatively improvising a way forward recklessness and being overly competitive okay now i don't think that this is about recklessness but uh leaving old ways behind because i look at this person's cards down here and they have gone through an awakening right we have judgment as their first card so, uh, they could definitely be leaving old ways behind once you go through an awakening, right? Yeah. A major awakening. Mm hmm. Okay. Which opportunity are you seizing in this situation? This person wants to seize the opportunity. They want to seize this moment, Sagittarius, so they can have a new beginning with you, right? I feel like this is true. Uh, and so I was going to pull a few oracles here. And we're just going to use these cards and not just, I should never say that. That's kind of a, uh, I feel like it's a low, it's a low, it's a little bit of a, a low viber word, right? Kind of not low viber, but, uh, you know, we're implying that, uh, it's not as good as other things, right? So let's see what we have. We're using the tea leaf cards. We are, let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. And, uh, these cards could be yours or theirs. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. And we have the wishbone. A wish is granted. All right. Either that, Sagittarius, or you guys are having chicken and you guys are fighting over the wishbone. All right. Don't be doing that, Sagittarius. All right. Let's see. Let's get one more card. Let's get a couple. See for Sagittarius and their person. For Sagittarius and their person. And we have overcome obstacles to overcome. Okay. So this could be you and them. I mean, this could be you or them. Maybe they have obstacles in their own life because this person here uh, has gone through an awakening. They also have the death card down here. So this is major transformation for them. But uh, we also see the king, where is that knight of the knight of bows or the knight of wands, who is the fox. This talks about change, a change in direction. There's a major change here. Yeah, there is. Let's get another card. And I feel like it's for your person because of what I have said. Let's see what else we have. For Sagittarius and we have excitement firecracker all right so this is going to be this love Sagittarius is on fire it is all right yeah so let's see what we have and your first card Sagittarius is the motivator right so you know maybe you feel really motivated about this and this is the king of wands in this deck he's the king of roses yeah I would like to use different decks over here uh, he looks like a kind of a, you know, uh, I'm not sure here, but they're calling him the motivator, right? Uh, for the King of Wands. And that's what the, the King of Wands can be seen as an entrepreneur, uh, just somebody who kind of, uh, goes after what they want, right? The Queen of Wands, the same, uh, pretty similar. Uh, it's very masculine energy. It's very like, I, I can, I will, that type of energy. This is why Aries, uh, your sister sign, right? Uh, 
in the uh in astrology is you know in, in the horoscope is their kind of their whole mantra is like i can or i am like i'm taking action right and so the motivator uh this could be you sagittarius i feel like it is but you could be wondering if this person is motivated to come forward and i feel like that's what this is about i feel like they are very motivated to come forward Maybe you're seen as a motivator, Sagittarius, like the instigator, right? Sometimes people who are, you know, trying to motivate others, uh, you know, people can't handle it. So, you know, they'll label you as the instigator. <coughs> Those are for true speakers, right? <coughs> Anybody who's trying to speak the truth <coughs> can be labeled uh, as like an instigator or something like that. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's what they set up, right? <coughs> we have the 10 of gems. I beg your pardon, you guys. Protection and introspection, the hermit. Your person might be a Virgo because we have the king of gems in the reverse, right? He's called the realist. He's in the reverse. This could be saying that uh, the challenge here is that um, we're going to look at that, but uh, maybe you are feeling that this person won't like really see what could be real or true for them in their life. Maybe you feel that way, right? Like, are they ever going to show up for me? Because this doesn't look like you're together. No. And so we have, uh, and this is what's on your mind. I feel like you're in introspection. If this person is going to be motivated to protect this with the 10 of pentacles or uh, better known in this deck as the 10 of gems, you're wondering if they're going to protect this. Are they going to come and kind of kind of rescue me in a way, right? Or return. And you want this wish to be overcome and maybe obstacles to overcome. Maybe this is what happened. There, there was some type of obstacle here. And you're wondering if, I feel like you're just wondering if they're going to return to you and come and work things out with you, right? Mm -hmm. The king of gems in the reverse. Let's have a look at that, right? And these cards are, uh, they're kind of yes and no cards, whether or not they're in the upright or the reverse, right? And the king of gems in the reverse leans on his staff to symbolize or his wand to symbolize he has retired from a life of pomp, responsibility, and ceremony. Okay, so in the reverse, maybe your person is retiring from a life of pomp, right? Which kind of means they had money and maybe they were going out and enjoying that kind of life, something like that, right? Uh, it, can, it can also uh, maybe suggest that this person was kind of pompous, maybe like a player, something like that, right? And we have with it responsibility and ceremony. So maybe their uh, ceremony could be marriage. They could be uh, retiring from responsibility and ceremony and ceremony, which could be like a relationship. Yeah, it could be, right? Uh, and this is maybe what you want because you have defeat in your hopes and desires, right? Yeah, okay, let's see what else is. He has renounced his wealth. Maybe your person had to renounce their wealth or give up some money to somebody, right? Like to, especially if, they're, if they might be leaving a relationship, he has renounced his wealth and position to embark on a journey to find the meaning of life. So, you know, this is in your challenge. I feel like you want this person to realize that you are the meaning in their life. Yeah, you could be because you're wondering if they're going to be motivated enough to protect this. Yes, you are. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else it says here. And he is determined to walk the great philosophers of the ages path. That sounds so Sagittarian, right? Learning from everyone he encounters, respecting their attempts to make sense of their lives. I feel like you want them to make sense of their lives. Yeah. I feel like, you know, Sagittarius that you're like, you're it for them. I just feel like you kind of know this here. I'm not sure intuitively, or you've already been in a serious relationship with them and you know, something to that effect, right? Let's see what else we have. Mm -hmm. His earthy sense of humor is touched with a hint of sorrow because he is a realist and his compassion for those less fortunate. Your person might be com being compassionate in here for somebody in this reading. They could. He loves his queen with all his heart and soul, but no longer puts their relationship first. Somebody could be coming that really is, that that is not putting somebody else first to be with you. And you're hoping for a defeat, Sagittarius. Look at that card. They call this the five of swords, also known as the five of wings. This is defeat showing up in your, 
in your desire. All right. God, that sounds violent, right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you want them to defeat another relationship. I do. And the celebration card, you could, or, or defeat another situation. Like it, maybe it's just like crash their life, right? If they work somewhere far away and they can't be with you, or maybe if something's in the way, there is something kind of in the way in this reading. Yeah, there is. And then we have celebration. This is what you're fearing. This is the three of cups, right? Like, like the three girls dancing, you're fearing you're not going to have a celebration with them. Yeah, you're afraid here that this person's not going to protect this and return to you. And they are. They're coming with their wishbone. Yeah, and their firecracker, Sagittarius, right? Uh, with the wishbone and the firecracker, right? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of excitement here, right? There is. And uh, let's look at their cards now. They have judgment as the first card. And this card in this deck, <clears throat> this is like the Pride and Prejudice deck. Yeah, but it's judgment. It is, right? Uh, and so she's walking up the stairs and she's troubled. And she's in this, in this. Uh, I feel like this happened in the movie, but this card is like, is saying here, while she's walking up the stairs, she has an awakening. Like she feels this, whoa, uh, something's happening to me. I'm changing. Like, yeah, as she goes up the stairs and looks down to the foyer or wherever, whatever room she's in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is an awakening. Your person has death right now. And this is right here. They are here. They are. And this woman, she almost dies, right? And here's her nurse or her sister or or her mom or somebody over her bed and she awakens from like this really deep flu and when she wakes or fever when she wakes up from the fever she she understands that she loves somebody like it's an awakening just like this judgment card like wow i love sagittarius yeah that's what's going on in this reading i can't wait to see the extended let's go ahead and look at uh these cards and they're calling the ten of swords judgment which i find really interesting right uh, because the 10 of swords we know is like the 10 of spades there, right? But we know the 10 of swords to be like a harsh ending, right? Or sometimes like, uh, it can be like this ending that the worst part is over. I feel like this person, uh, this, this, this judgment, this awakening they went through was disturbing for them. And it could have created an ending in their own life because we have, I mean, I'm surprised the tower's not here, right? I only have six cards for them, but uh, there's a big shakeup in this person's life. So let's see what they have to say about the 10 of spades. Well, we already know, but let's have their exact words here because yeah, let's just see what it says. Mm hmm. And the 10 of spades or swords awakening judgment. Catherine Moreland realizes that real life isn't a Gothic novel when she visits Northanger Abbey. Okay. So your person, I feel like when they realize that uh, life isn't just like a novel or something like that, right? Like a, a storybook or whatever. They realize that you're real in their life. Yeah, you're real. You are what they want in their life. Uh, and that everything before possibly was just, I don't know, part of a movie or something like that. This person realizes that they have three major arcanas here and a king and they have six cards. I mean, it's huge, right? It is. So here they have the death card, and this is the four of swords in this particular deck, and this is transformation. All right, after Marianne nearly catches her death of fever and sense and sensibility, she changes her mind about Willoughby. This person changed their mind about you. Yeah, because they realized that like you're the real one, like you are the love of their life, and everybody who came before you was just, I don't know, part of a movie or something like that for this person, right? And then they have the three of hearts. This is the three of, this is the three of cups. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see what they say about the hearts, the three of hearts. Yeah. And this is a, a celebration as well. So here you are, Sagittarius, uh, wor worried a little bit, or, you know, doubting if you're going to have this celebration with them, with, uh, in your, in your fears and your doubts. And here, uh, what's on their mind here is the same celebration. So you guys are, you guys are wishing for each other, which I find to be beautiful, right? Because a lot of the readings are like the timing can be off or just something like that. Like, in other words, like they, they could have wanted you 
uh, back in the day or, you know, just recently, but you didn't want them, right? So, yeah. So, uh, this is what's on their mind, a celebration with you. They woke up to your love. They know that you're number one here. Yeah. And they know they made a mistake with the death card. They know they changed their mind about you, right? You change your mind. You know, you made a mistake. Yeah, they did. They might've judged you. Uh, they could have. And the king of hearts is going to be in there. The king of hearts is showing up in their uh, challenge, which is the king of cups. And they're showing the kind of a cutie guy here, right? Yeah, they are. Let's see what it is. Maybe uh, your person uh, finds you very attractive, right? Let's see what it says about the king of the king of hearts. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> emotional control. This is in their challenge, right? Kind of a trippy card in their challenge. What seems like aloofness is only a natural reserve. Mr. Darcy proves to be generous and caring. They don't know if you're going to be generous and caring with them. No, they don't, Sagittarius. I'm pretty sure here that this person is like, yeah, because of their hopes and their fears over here. So they don't know if you're going to be kind and generous or, you know, or an ogre maybe. No digs, right? Let's see. Because... They could have done something to you here because this person went through a major awakening and uh, they could have found out, they did find out that you're their true love, but there's some type of mistake. Like they changed their mind. So they know there's some type of a mistake here that they have made like a, a poor judgment or they took, you know, they took, they took somebody else over you. There's just some type of like guilt or regret here. Yes, there is. So the King of Hearts is... Uh, Mm -hmm. What seems like aloofness is only a natural reserve. They're trying to, they're trying to figure out how they're going to judge you when they see you. Like if you're reserved, does that mean that you're not going to want them? They're really worried when they meet up with you, uh, what you're going to say to them. Like if you're going to bite their head off or yeah. And so it's really kind of cool here because they, they are, they're, they're, what your person is concerned about is when they finally talk to you or meet up with you how they're going to be able to judge you. Yeah, because they're afraid like you don't want this. And I'll explain in just a moment. They have the world card in their hopes, their hopes and desires, right? Mm-hmm. And this is the, this is interesting because they call this the ace of, uh, the ace of diamonds or pentacles, right? But this is uh, a new beginning. Of course, the world card is, uh, is always seen. It can always be a new beginning because it can be a new cycle. And it can be closing. It can uh, often be a closing out of another cycle. Uh, and it is major wish fulfillment. Yes, it is. So let's see what it says here. And sometimes it can apply a really long journey, right, to come to you. Maybe this has been years uh, or maybe, maybe you know, there's been heartbreak or there's some type of path they had to, they had to walk like a hard road. And I say that because of the judgment card and the death card, right? A changing of the mind and an awakening, right? Uh, people don't do that overnight. No, I mean, this lady walking up the stairs is kind of something hit her at that moment, but uh, <clears throat> it's still a process. So let's see what they say. The Ace of Diamonds, Sagittarius. Let's see what they have to say. Hey, where's the Ace of Diamonds? Oh, here it is. Okay. And this is completion, the world's ace of pentacles. One deserves a bouquet when a demanding endeavor has come full circle to success. They're hoping that this is going to be successful. Yeah, they're hoping that this completion in their life, this journey that they're making towards you is going to be successful. They hope you're, they're trying to figure out how they, this person, they're trying to figure out here if you want them back, but, uh, they could be watching videos of, uh, of uh, body language yeah because they're afraid of you <laughs> so when they meet up with you they want to know they're, they're going to be looking at your every movement right like you know to see whether or not you're being reserved or you just don't give a shit anymore that's what it's about right and they have the three of uh, diamonds or the three of spades and let's see what it's about let's see what it says here for the three of diamonds 
And I hope you guys are all well. In case I didn't mention that, right? Yeah, okay. Way at the end of the reading, right? Let's see what we have, you guys. Three of diamonds. Three of spades. I beg your pardon. OMG. This is the three of swords. And they're showing these three beautiful hats here. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see what they say here. And this is rejection. OMG. I can't make this stuff up. These three hats. Uh, they're afraid you're going to reject them. I'm not, oh, that's the three of swords. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, right? The once popular beaver hat was slowly replaced by the silk top hat. Fashion is ruthless. They're afraid you're going to replace them, that you're going to reject them because you found somebody else. Wow, right? So we're going to go to the extended Sagittarius. We are. We're going to pull a rune for your person, uh, and we're going to talk about that rune in the other reading. The other reading is uh, entirely their spread. We're going to see how they feel. Uh, what's unknown about them and we're going to do a whole spread on this person yes we are and we're using a different deck so let's see here we're not going to look at the rune no we're not uh, we're going to talk about it in the other reading show me the rune show me let's see for Sagittarius's person show me the energy show me the energy please okay so we have uh this rune here it looks like an n let's see real quick uh, about that rune yeah i'm not really a rune reader you guys uh, I mean, not like, you know, so I get to pull the book. Okay. Yeah. I don't know them all by heart yet. No. Uh, but I can tell you that they are very, uh, they're very helpful in readings. Yeah, they are. Uh, and they get real philosophical. So whatever you don't see in the cards, they can confirm. Yeah, they can. And just, you know, clarify and paint the picture even more. So we have Hagalaz. Where is that at? Make sure it's not in the reverse here. Yeah, these, okay. So let's see, uh, let's just see briefly what Hagalaz talks about and we will discuss it over there. We will see what it says here. Mm -hmm. And this is hail. Okay, this is kind of, uh, this can talk about explosions of happiness. We're gonna discuss it over there. We are, thank you so much for joining me here. And the extended is always below the video, right? They're super affordable. I have the link down there. Thank you so much for joining me here, you guys. God bless you guys, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.